Okay, level four, here it comes, bring it on. Let's do a question like x squared plus 3x plus 1 equals 5. And you'll see that all this time I've been very kind to ourselves. Namely, that 3x is going to be a bit of a problem. Well, not really. We actually push through it. All right, let's try this question. Let's do the box method. Off we go. Must come from a square. x squared must come from x and x. I want two pieces of the same that combine to make 3x. So I guess I'm in fraction land, 3 halves x and 3 halves x. Um, that means something times x is 3 halves x, 3 halves, excuse me, 3 halves. And the final piece is 3 halves times 3 halves, that's 9 quarters. I don't want the number 1, I want the number 9 quarters, and off I go. I can make this work. And, you know, this box method will never let you down. If you're in the midst of fractions, and you're happy with fractions, go for it. You'll be golden. Most people prefer not to deal with fractions. And the problem here was this odd number for this middle coefficient. Well, like I say, if there's something in life you don't like, change it. What's a way of changing this problem so I won't have an odd number in the middle? Well, most people say, just double the problem. Okay, we'll do that. 2x squared plus 6x plus 2 is 10. If I'm going to double the middle, I better double throughout, multiply the whole thing through by 2. Beautiful. So let's solve that question instead. Okay, box method, off we go. This piece has to be 2x squared. Now, a lot of people are going to write x and 2x. The trouble is, that's not a square anymore. Rectangles don't help us out. Symmetry is our friend. That's asymmetrical. So if I'm going to push this method forward, let me do something that's actually symmetrical. I want two things the same that multiply by 2x squared. And I think I'm going to need root 2x and root 2x. Uh, here I'd want a 3x and a 3x, and now it's getting particularly awkward. However, if you're, not squared of square, if you're not afraid of square roots, this method will not let you down. You can push this through. Trouble is, most people don't want to do this sort of arithmetic. So there's got to be a better way to deal with this. Let me quickly clean this board a bit. So doubling it caused me a problem with, okay, fix the middle term, but it didn't make this a nice square anymore. So what people think to do, you know, it takes a little bit of thought here, so you have to wait for an epiphany. What else can I do to make this middle term even without ruining the squareness, if you like, of this beginning? And eventually you might think, don't multiply through by 2, multiply by 4 instead. So let's take this equation and multiply through by 4. 4x four squared plus 12x plus 4 equals 20. Is that actually good for us or not? Well, let's try it out. 4x squared. Where must that come from? Can I be symmetrical and nice with friendly numbers for me? You bet I can. 2x and 2x. I need two pieces of the same that make 12x. 6x and 6x. Are we still good? Something times, watch out, something times 2x makes 6x. This better be 3. 3. Something times 2x makes 6x. And that means the final piece must be 3 times 3 is 9. Again, panic. I don't have a 9, I have a 4. Don't worry, I'm an adult, I can change things in life and keep deal with the consequences. The consequences, I'm going to add 5 to the left, I better add 5 to the right. So I've now changed this problem to 4x uh, squared plus 12x plus 9 equals 25. That is 2x plus 3 squared is 25. Looks like level 1. Something squared is 25. 2x plus 3 better be uh, 5 or negative 5. Subtract 3 throughout. 2x better be 2 or negative 4. Divide everything through by 2, x better be 1 or negative 2. Beautiful. So, if you have a number in the middle you don't like, if it turns out to be odd, you want to make it even, good idea to multiply by 2, turns out it ruins the beginning, multiply by 4 instead. So let's pack this with a couple more examples. Alright, let's do another level 4 problem. Let's try x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 2. I look at this and I say, if I want to do with fraction land, go for the box method right away, no worries. But most people say, I don't like the negative 5, the odd number there. So let's multiply through by 4 and make this problem 4x squared minus 20x plus 24 equals 8. All right, let's try the box method. Do, 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 do. Uh, 4x squared must come from 2x and 2x. Uh, two pieces of the same make negative 20x and negative 10x, negative 10x. 
Uh, summing times 2x makes negative 10x, better be a negative 5 and a negative 5, which means this piece better be negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. I don't have 25, don't panic, let's make it 25, let's add 1 to each side. So now my problem is 4x squared minus 20x plus 25 is 9. I'm really fast, I know, but why do I bother doing all that work? Well, I see from the square that 4x squared minus 20x plus 25 is actually 2x minus 5 times 2x minus 5. 2x minus 5 squared is 9, and off I go. Something squared is 9, my something better be 3 or negative 3. Let's add 5 throughout. 2x better be 8 or uh, 2. x better be 4 or 1. Love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, one more. Yeah, why not? Let's just change colors so that you can actually see it. Let's do something like x squared plus x equals 3 quarters. Ugh. Well, actually, I see a 1 times x here, and I don't like 1s. Um, I know I've got fractions here, so maybe if I just you know, multiply 3 by 4 right now, things will be lovely for me. 4x squared plus 4x plus nothing equals 3. Well, let's do the box. I think I'm running out of room on the board here, so let's be careful. 4x squared must come from 2x and 2x. Uh, two pieces of the same that make 4x better be 2x and 2x. Something times 2x makes 2x, 1 and 1. The number of 1 is 1. I'm missing a 1, so let's add 1 to both sides. So my question really is 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 is 4. Lots of 4s in this problem. Why do I like 4x squared plus 4x plus 1? Because I see it's really 2x plus 1 squared is 4. Something squared is 4. My something better be 2 or negative 2. And off I go. All right. That was a very fast overview of levels 2, 3, and 4. Um, read through the text, work through it slowly with pencil and paper, review examples in this, in this video over and over again. It'll all come to clear beautifully for you. Because next comes level 5, which is victory over all quadratic equations. You notice I've still been nice to you. I haven't put any numbers in front of the x squared yet. Ha! Well, we can do it. We can do it. All right. Thanks so much.